What's up guys, it's Jules. Time for another weekly update, cross-stitching and otherwise. Thanks for coming back. It is, what is it, late-ish January 2020. And uh, hope you guys have been doing good. Thank you guys so much for all of your comments and sub, you know subscriptions and all that thumbs up and all that good stuff. So I appreciate that an awful lot. I'm kind of not perfectly proportioned here, but... Um, we're going to go over our cross stitch progress and then I want to talk about some stuff with the blog that I've been doing lately. Um, some articles I've been throwing up there uh, or, uh, about knitting and things like that that I want to point out to you guys. I am definitely not centered. Am I a bit more centered? There we go. A bit more centered there. So just got home from work, ate some dinner, took the Zuzu to the park and uh, she is a very happy. I need to put that up there somewhere but that was our stitch with us. Stitch with me, stitch with you. Um, but <clears throat> let's go over the projects that we worked on this week first. Um, first up, well, an oldie but a goodie. I haven't seen this one around in a while, and I didn't take it out of the hoop because I want to work on it again tonight. It is well. It is well. So there we go. And so uh, working on this upper motif kind of area here, and then on this area right here. Now, you will notice, those of you who are looking really closely, that I actually made a mistake. I mean, it's, I wouldn't call it a big mistake, but it's definitely a mistake. And what I did was, when I started stitching the it is well here, I actually started a full square row down, or row up, basically. So the, it is well, it is well. So I'm like, that kind of fits the piece, right? So you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I think uh, we'll finish it up and see. I can always take it out and redo it if I need to, but once I had gotten that far along, I was like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go back. And so, but anyway, so there's, uh, this is the end of this pro this part right here. So. I'm really working on trying to get this whole section done if I can and then start moving down. But we are working on getting this done. Yes, we are. Uh, let's see here, what else shall I show ya? So I did a lot also on Rainy Waterloo Place and got a lot, really working to get this row done. Here we go. So that's what it looks like right now. Gosh, you can really see that what looks like reflections in what's supposed to be sort of the water area. Looks good. It looks good. But you can see how close we're getting. We're getting super close to being done. Uh, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, eh, about 10, 10 grid squares left-ish. So a thousand stitches, is that a thousand stitches? A hundred times 10? That's a thousand. Boy, that seems like a lot. Um, but anyway, but there's that coming along, did a lot of work on this one, worked a couple of days on that, if you can tell. Uh, and then lastly, cause I only worked on three pieces this week. Uh, we had, and we're going to get into that in just a second. And we had, uh, Reaper cause I've got to get Reaper done this year. Right? So what I did was finish the top page or this third page in this row and then I just came down and stitched a bunch more in. And then that's the very bottom of what it is right there. So I got a lot done. Of the 2,000-ish stitches that I needed to do, I probably got, you know, three or 400 done or so. But got to keep plugging away at this one. Plugging away. And I think... Uh, I really do think that I'm going to have to break with protocol a little bit. No, I don't know if I said protocol, but the the plan was originally to not do the face, like to skip the face. I don't know if I can do that per se. Um, we're going to see. The goal is going to be to do as much stitching on this as possible. So we'll see. I'm not, I'm not going to be finishing this row up in the next week. Uh, I've got a few weeks to hopefully, not too hopefully, I got a few weeks to kind of you know, get this done, but I really do, like, in terms of how fast I need to work on this, pretty much in about two weeks, I need to have this page done, so can I do it? Well, I better get started, I better get started stitching, uh, that was pretty much it, 
I, uh, I meant to do some old world map too, just couldn't really get truly motivated to do it. I finally got my motivation back this week after being sick with the flu for the seven to ten days before that, um, which was great. My energy finally came back, and my motivation at work came back, and then finally my motivation at home came back. Uh, it's just I kind of got addicted to this video game, and I played way too much of it uh, this past week, which is... Uh, Lately unusual for me, so it's a good thing. Um, I want to talk about the blog real quick. Uh, there are some new articles that have come up. I've actually had some people write some articles for me because I can truthfully tell you that I don't knit. I don't know that much about knitting, and a lot of the articles that I think are going to come up on the blog in the future are not going to be written by me because I just don't have the time. But in the sake or in the interest of trying to be more complete, give people some resources, um, there's just going to be more things that are going to be added. So there have probably been like three different articles about knitting, and I'll link them down below. The one that I posted this morning was, what is arm knitting? And I didn't know what arm knitting was, I knew, but I know what it is, I just didn't know that's what it was called. It's that chunky, when you use that chunky wool and you make blankets, um, you can make... Uh, shawls out of them you can make you technically can make almost anything but uh, I've been looking into that and oh it's so pretty it's so pretty and it looks warm it looks so warm uh, but I got that article done and I got one up on uh, you know should you start if you want to do should you knit or crochet what the difference is uh, I've been working on the mosaic tile art section I just haven't published it yet I wanted to get more resources resources on it before I published it. And on the Pinterest page, I've probably added another seven or eight boards this last week on um, the mosaic tile. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going to totally forget everything I put on there. I put a lot on there. So if you're at all interested in, in Pinterest, I'm on there at Stitching Jewels. I'll put a link down below. And uh, you guys can um, hopefully find some good resources for doing projects. Speaking of which, um, as part of my researching for arm knitting, I came across a site. I don't know if you guys are, you, you tell me what you think about this, but I have, um, there's a, a site called Blueprint, which has a lot of crafting videos, tutorials. It is a subscription-based service. Um, I am an affiliate for them. But uh, they are, um, they have like, I don't know how many hundreds, a lot of courses. And right now, if I recall, it's like a really great deal that if you sign on for like a full year, you get like a ridiculous percentage off. And they've got classes on so many different crafting things. Um, you know, if you wanted to learn how to knit, or crochet, or just a lot of different things, they've got it there. But I'll put that link down below for the subscription box as well to see what you guys think. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, what else, what else is going on? So, the stitching wise, I made a huge mess. I need to get a new, at some point, my desk downstairs is kind of starting to fall apart. I've had that desk for at least 15 years. I want to say at least 15 years. And one of the doors got ripped off completely by one of the dogs and it's kind of, it's just, it's wearing down and it's getting thin. I need to get something that has a lot of space that I can put things over here and then over here. And so, but I'm thinking about doing that at some point. Uh, we, uh, but yeah, we've been doing a lot of that and brain finally, like I said, brain finally kicked in three or four days ago and I feel a lot better for that. What was I doing on Saturday? I had to work. Oh, well, we've been to see the bees. I told you guys that. Now I can't remember what I did on Saturday. Something happened on Saturday. I worked. My brain is gone. I don't know what I did. But I, we were gone. See my video? Guys, I'm serious. Like, I'm brain gone. Done. Uh, anyway. Nah. <laughs> All right, let's just skip that topic because my brain doesn't want to work. What else? Yeah, now I'm just, now I think I'm like, my brain just shut off from work and I'm just doing. But everything's doing good. We, um, we lost a fish. Uh, one of the big orange fish. The one that was getting beaten up by the other two. 
I had to move him into his own tank. He finally passed away uh, yesterday, which was a little bit of a shock because he had been recovering. He looked looked like he was doing better, but he finally passed. So I'm going to actually, I think, get take that. Um, it's a little, it's not a very big uh, tank. Take that tank down. Just give more space in the living room. And uh, But other than that, everybody else is doing good. Really, I'm just down to like four critters. I've got the two uh, King Kong parrotfish uh, who have a massive tank now, a 50-gallon tank for themselves. And uh, I've got the 30-gallon that has some snails and the, um, the Pleco in it. And I do, I want to move the Pleco into another bigger tank and then put more fish in there. Uh, the... Sadly, the little orange fish dying, or the other orange fish dying, makes that one a bit more possible. And then when I get a new tank eventually for the um, uh, axolotl, because I really want him to be able to kind of traverse up more. So I'm going to get a tank that maybe is more vertical, that gives him more space. Because he moves, he moves around on the bottom, but I think he would really like to go up and down. When I had, a, when I had him in a taller tank, he did more of that, so... But he's doing good. Cat uh, loves her new food, uh, which is uh, just kind of like an Iams kitten mix thing that I ordered by mistake. But finally, he's eating more than um, he used to. He would used to demand to be fed every day because he'd get like a little can of like fancy feast gravy stuff, and he would just lick all the gravy, and then he wouldn't eat the hard stuff, and that would be it. But this new stuff, he eats the whole thing, which is great. So. He's not begging for mo for food quite as much as he was. Uh, birds are still going strong. It's pretty amazing. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the video. <laughs> I need to stitch more. But check out the blog. Let me know. Again, let me know if there's other hobbies that you want me to cover. Um, right now, like I said, I'm focusing on the tile mosaic art stuff. And then, oh, man, there were a few others that popped up. Oh, it was... Um, uh, the t-shirt making stuff. I've got a friend that makes t-shirts, which is pretty cool. There was a thing about screen printing and um, some stuff like that. And then, yeah, there's so many things that, that can throw on this website that I just like. And partially, I'm like, I'm, I'm checking out things that I want to do later on in life. And so I'm kind of finding new hobbies. But I got cross-stitching to do. So uh, that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to focus on that and get some more done. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do for this week's uh, Stitch With Me. I need to really move ahead with some other projects. I was going to work on, um, I was looking for, uh, which one? Dachshund. And I think Dachshund's up here is why I couldn't find Dachshund. I was going to stitch on Dachshund last night and uh, couldn't find it. So I ended up just stitching on um, it as well. So, But it's time to get back down and get stitching. I got to get out of my work clothes and uh, relax a little bit. Enjoy my day off tomorrow. I just stitch, I think. I just need to stitch. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I, I, what's the word? Happy stitching. And I, my brain, seriously, my brain does not want to work. Uh, it's crazy. But uh, thank you so much. And I will see you guys this weekend really soon. And if there's something that you need to see or want to see or you're like, hey, get to work on this project, please. Uh, let me know which one it is and you know, that'll inspire me to get going. I just need to stitch faster and more. So, all right, take care and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.